It's JB, Jeremy Borash, Midway LA is where I'm at for the biggest matchup, the biggest main event in TNA wrestling history as we're teaming up with Midway Games to present TNA Impact, the video game. Let's show you behind the scenes of what's going on. TNA is an awesome subject for a video game because it is total non-stop action wrestling. I mean, what, what could be better? It focuses on high-flying, things that, you know, aren't all that humanly possible, it would seem. And so we can take that in a video game and kind of just go a little bit further with it. We want to bring back some things that were cool a few generations ago. And we want to add a new twist to them. The technology's there to really make things fun, fast, and responsive, and we want to take full advantage. You got the action, you got the, you know, all the great pyro and all effects that they got going. It's just, it was born to be a video game. TNA wrestlers are a very special breed compared to some of the other uh, wrestlers around. You'll notice that they're very acrobatic. Flying through the air and performing just these precise maneuvers where one wrong move could totally end a career, that's what makes you want to play TNA. It makes you feel like a superstar to play a game like this. Making the best TNA game possible really comes from uh, knowing the brand, knowing what's exciting about it, and then uh, just taking all the other expectations everyone has as far as fighting games go and bringing that all together into this one experience that is just, you know, amazing for the player. It all starts with the tech. You need some way of displaying the art on your game system. So that's uh, an engine that puts it up there, that moves it, that makes it so when you hit a button, something happens. So you build the foundation on the tech. Then you have artists create characters. You have artists create environments. You have animators animate the characters. And then you have designers who put those animations on button presses, on joystick movements, things like that. And then you have put together gameplay. It's kind of the same formula for everything, just different lengths of time and different amounts of uh, art. Can you dig this sucker? We're in the character art department right now where they are creating the most authentic, the most spot on wrestlers designed in any wrestling game in professional wrestling history. And it's happening right here at Midway LA. How does my character look in the game? Check it out. It looks amazing like the rest of the game. It's gonna blow your guys' minds. We take tons of reference photos for the characters in our game, uh, basically to get that incredible detail um, that you can only see, you know, with, with the photographs. And the camera, it's always, it's always looking, following me on. First, they took a bunch of pictures of me, close-ups of my face, of my, my, my gimmicks and my, my wrestling costume. And it's not just for reference. We actually use that, those photographs as, as texture maps for the 3D models. And we apply those actual photos that are of their characters onto our 3D models for their skin. So then you get all the little moles and nuances, all the cuts, you know, abyss, you know, scars all over him from all the matches he's done. It's kind of funny. when. Uh... We did AJ's reference photos. He had accidentally gotten punched in the mouth by Joe the day before, which split his lip open. If you look at AJ in the game, his lips split open in that same spot. When he saw it, he was blown away. He couldn't believe we went to that amount of detail. Here in the character art department, they are working round the clock to make sure you get the most authentic, most detailed versions of TNA stars in this video game. And as you can see, you're getting all the colorful splendor of the black machismo, Jay Lethal. In fact, I'm, I'm wondering if he's gonna reach out and tag me in here pretty soon. Uh, with the head scanner, uh, we had to do some fun stuff with the wrestlers. That was actually pretty neat. Because the scanner wasn't really great for picking up hair, we had every wrestler wearing a latex bald cap. They all enjoyed that. They also scanned my face, which is the thing that looked like uh, I was at a grocery store checkout, but then a digital picture of my face came up, and it was, uh, it blew my mind. It was like, as he was scanning, it was coming up on the computer that I could see, and uh, it was all really kind of surreal to me. That is me, Homicide. I am even a badass in a video game. Huh. We do the head scans to get the likenesses of the characters pinpoint, and it makes it very fast for us to get the 3D models up and running on machines and really spend that extra time that we have left over to put in those fine details that we're doing. The reason our characters look so distinct is, you know, the 
amount of time and effort that we put into making them as realistic looking as possible. Yeah, the characters look um, really realistic purely because of the way we're actually lighting them and the materials that we're using on them. We've got a special material, a rim light, which actually emphasizes the characters and brings them to life. And we've also got a very particular sweat map that's actually on the characters, which also makes them look more real and brings them to life in the game. After the character's built and textured, the next uh, step to get him into the game is, is the rigging. And so what we do is we put in virtual bones, which is just like the skeleton that you have in your body. The bones, the way they move, and the, the way that they're animated is through motion capture. I am here in the animation department where the very moves, the signature moves you see every week on TNA Impact are now being put into this game. And as you can see from AJ Styles and the infamous Hurricane Rana that he does perfectly, it is captured perfectly and now implemented into the game perfectly. Unbelievable. Capturing motions with the wrestlers is my favorite part of the game. Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, Jay Lethal, Tom J. Dutt, Christopher Daniels. They've been the most fun performers to work with. They really understand the importance of this game and want the game to look and feel right. So for them, it's important to what happens in the ring translate to what happens in our studio and the, then gets into the game. AJ Styles is so quick, so smooth, so agile. And how can you not love watching this guy wrestle? He'll show you something you haven't seen every time he's in the ring. This is AJ Styles making sure that Midway's TNA Impact video game is phenomenal. Introducing from Bollywood, Bombay, he's the original player from the Himalaya, Sanjay Dutt. Talk about speed without a doubt the fastest man in the history of the X Division. We need to work with a lot of wrestlers at once because you can't have the same guys doing these moves over and over again. They'll break. They're not used to doing these moves over and over. So we cycle people through. Nice. We have like four guys at a time in the motion studio and they each kind of switch off doing the moves to each other so that they don't know two people or one person takes too much of the damage because it does wear you out, man. The moves, the hardest game you could ever do motion capture wise is a wrestling game. He is the Samoan submission machine. on TNA Impact, having a good time, getting everything captured the right way, because let's face it, if you're going to be at home, you're going to be playing our game, you want it to look as real as possible. So I'm going to make sure that there's one thing that you know when you're playing this game, is that Joe is going to kill you. He was undefeated for 18 months here in TNA and he's still one of the greatest wrestlers in the world. In the year and a half undefeated streak of Samoa Joe, he gained so many victories with the muscle buster and the rear naked choke that he calls the Kakina Clutch. Introducing from the City of Angels, the Fallen Angel, Christopher Daniel. The key word here is precision. This is a finely tuned athlete who makes calculated moves. To give the player the sensation of these huge impacts with these moves, whether they be punches or throws or anything like that, you really, the other wrestler has to really sell the move. The cells are what people go to see. They want to see people get hit, get hurt. You know, a really awesome attack animation with a mediocre cell reaction is going to come across with no impact. What makes the impact feel so good is a great attack, a great punch, and then the guy getting hit really making you believe that it happened. Throwing his body weight back, landing on the ground hard. That all comes from experienced professionals in the motion capture studio. 